It is cutting board time. This is uh, half of a butcher block that I used for uh, my coffee bar. So the other half that I ripped off, I'm going to make some customized cutting boards uh, with the CNC machine. And uh, here I am just really getting the CNC machine set up. I've already routed the edges here and uh, put some finger holds on both sides of the cutting board so that... Um, People can go from the decorative side to the usable side. You'll probably see four different designs here. Uh, one for my parents, one for my brother, one for my mom, and one for my cousin. So here's the finished carves on those. So here I am just using the air compressor and the air hose to uh, blow out the design. Uh, while this is on the CNC machine, it does kick around a lot of sawdust, even though I have a vacuum system on it. So just trying to get all those crevices cleaned out so I can get the oil in there, especially on the design side. I want to make sure that uh, as much oil penetrates as possible, just keep it sanitary. Um, I am using Watco Butcher Block here. Uh, it's an oil and finish. It's easy wipe on, food safe. Um, so first go around i'm pretty much getting all the detail gonna get an even coat on all the sides um the directions for this can uh which i've the first time i've used it i've always used mineral oil before but pretty much you want to just make sure it's uh put on with a soft clean rag allow six hours to dry for the first coat um, and then prior to recoating you really just want to go ahead and hit it with 400 grit sandpaper. If you put on some thick sections of oil, um, it can kind of raise up in comparison to the rest of the stuff. Um, so that sandpaper helps just kind of knock it down. And you can repeat steps uh, one through four uh, multiple times as long as you're leaving that six hours for it to dry. And then uh, 72 hours before normal use. And then the recommendation is just to uh, go ahead and hand wash it one time uh, prior to use. So pretty simple product to use. Uh, I did like the way that turned out. I like the way that it sealed it up. Uh, probably going to be my preference over just regular mineral oil. So these are the final products for a couple of them. Uh, this one's for my brother for his rank, his daughters, and his wife who's a hairstylist. And then one for my cousin who turned 50. Uh, I have a little bit of an issue here where uh, this piece broke off as it was carving and it threw the carve off. So I had to kind of manually finish out all these letters. And then I just recarved the rest of the carve in a shallower depth, but live and learn. Um, and then this is a Rottweiler that I'm gonna be finishing up for my mom. Still needs to be oiled and I actually got some epoxy. So I might use some uh, coloring and finish that in, but um, turned out great. Um, definitely a decorative side and a usable side. So uh, hopefully people will be able to use them for years to come.